Let's finish up here. This is Latoya. So this is the case that we're going to do. So <clears throat> we talked about the, uh, the positioning of, the, of her teeth here. Here's, you can see right there what I did. Um, canines and second molars here. So here's the case plan. Let's see if I, I think I turn on the, uh, the teeth here. So, okay, so here's the teeth. You can see how I retracted those front teeth, intruded the back teeth. There's her smile. Look how much better that fits her, her lip line and her occlusal plane. So molars were intruded, upper incisors were extruded. She's in a kind of class three position now, edge to edge, but we're gonna do the same thing to the lower once she's ready. And so that's these restorations right here. And you guys are gonna do, uh, prepare these. And then here's the, uh, Here's the canines and the second molar. So just pulled all the other teeth, just simple extractions. Guide is ready to go. I had to take down a little bit of bone like we talked about. So you do just do a small little buckle flap, kind of push the palatal away. Just take a <clears throat> carbide, take the bone down a little bit where you, uh, where you know you need to, and then put your guide on and put the implants in. So there's the guide on, and you can see it's resting on four teeth. So it's resting back here on the second molars. You can see I didn't even trim off all the nubs, right? Just print and go. And there's the, uh, here's the multi-unit abutments in here placed on. And that, so I think in this second molars are still in there. I pulled the canines. I put all the multi-units on. There's the first temporary that I had pre-printed a little bit of just quick pink paint on there. We did the pickup, and then I actually brought, put six analogs on there. Those are those multi-unit analogs. And then scanned yeah, this they, in our they, box yeah. scanner, and now we have records of, of positioning. So there's the temporary from that pickup that was picked up, and that's just the temporary. And then here is here is her right at the, the position that I put in the temporary. So I screwed in the temporary. You can see, I don't even think I threw a suture in on this because it's just tight tissue, um, really conservative, just not an invasive surgery. Literally just left the, the buckled tissue up there. You can see, look at where her occlusion is hitting in this temporary phase. And that's how I, this is how I planned it. So you see how I intruded those back molars? So she's barely even hitting in kind of some funky spots. But now, when she smiles, she's all numbed up. But you can see now, like, her occlusal plane and her upper teeth are where they need to be. And then lowers get done next time. Um, there's the, this is the media panel after. And you see, like, there's a lot of bone up there. Like, I didn't really even reduce that much. Um, pretty, pretty minimally a, a, you know, minimally aggressive case. I don't know where this implant went. It just disappeared on the panel. Are you, she has pretty short teeth on the bottom. Are you concerned about your vertical here, or are you planning to do reduction there? How do you, I'm just wondering, how do you analyze your amount of reduction on a case like this? Because it looks like you still have tons of bone in your maxillary. Tons of bone, yeah. And so... Are what, you pushing the limits on the thinner side here? Or? Yeah, yeah, I am. And, and you'll see that I'm going to show you that you know, in the front, we had barely 15. In the back, we had maybe like 12. And you'll see kind of what does that look like from a restorative point of view. Could it, would it have worked with acrylic? No, right? But because of what we're using with, you know, zirconia overlaid like thin thimble bars, like you can go thin, you know, and, you know, you guys work, you work with wine too, so you've heard him talk about how you can reduce a little bit less. Um, so there's the ridge at three months. So we took the, took the temporary off, and I mean, it's just this big, fat ridge. I mean, tons of keratinized tissue, didn't suture anything. Multi-units just end up right at tissue level. You know, she was happy with her temporary. Teeth were the, where they needed to be, not big changes. I mean, it's just pretty easy to, to restore this. Are all those multi-units, are those just straight? They are straight and straight. And then those are 17s. So there's the screw hole right there. Um, so this, they're all the same size. The, the desk 
the straights have a little bit different design, like a like a kind of a step, like more like a external connection with like a little hex right here. And then the straights are a lot more like, or the angles are a lot more round. But the actual diameter is the same. It's just this is buried a little bit. A little yeah, a little tissue. Um, and then the PMR. So we're going to go over after lunch the PMR. And so she came in at three months. Here's her temporary. And this is me picking it up with impression material. So she's holding retractors, and I'm just squirting light body underneath, underneath the tissue. And we're going to go over like how to do this after lunch. But this is that mirror tray with the clear, the clear cellophane. And we're seating it over the, her temporary. And the long screws poke through the cellophane. So it's like an open tray impression, but you don't have to cut your holes. It's just a simple way to do that. Um, but yeah, really simple to do this case. Very predictable. Um, here's the, you know, all this stuff goes to the lab digitally. This is that ExoCAD. Um, oh. All right, good. Go ahead and smile, David, for me here. Kind of turn your head. So this right was here. the second temporary. This is the one that you guys are actually going to get to hold there. So the lab printed, or the lab designed <laughs> this. So all that, all that records went to my lab. The lab sent me this on my phone, the ExoCAD. You can see her upper teeth are right, but the lower teeth are too far forward, right? So her lower teeth, when we plant them, are going to come back. At least that's how I plan to restore them. But because we went guided, you know, first molar occlusal, first molar, second, or first by cusper, first by cusper, right down the cingulum. And so look, I mean, this is a hybrid, a FP3, but look how like thin this is. Whereas commonly these guys are going to be back here for a lot of surgeons. So digital, um, really predictable. We knew where we wanted the teeth. We knew where we wanted the screw hole accesses to come out and it's right where we plan them. So this is a printed resin. My lab designed that restoration. We printed it, which is what we got here. We're gonna add the gum tissue, and we're gonna play with that this afternoon. And then this actually gets screwed down right into the mouth, and then that's her testing the temper. This is the try-in, like, it's her new temporary. She gets to leave with it, but it's also the, the, the try-in. Right, Bef one last chance to, to tweak anything.